Right, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 once again in another video and today we are finally looking back at the building of my space station. Now, the space station has been featured in many videos previously in Kerbal Space Program 2 but uh, this was like recorded earlier and I haven't getting around to editing this one yet because I had more exciting stuff so yeah, finally doing it now and this was on the old GPU so you can see I'm looking up the sky a lot because I was getting about 12 FPS and that is not really playable. And <laughs> it's really funny to see this sped up footage of how wobbly this starship is. So yes, we are using the starship to fly the rest of the station up to the, um, well, the core stage of the station, if that makes sense. Yes, we are flying the station to the station. But here we go, we first did a launch, tried to get an encounter straight off the bat and I don't know what I was doing here, I was just messing things up and then my camera got all weird once we decoupled and started firing so we had a relaunch and I thought we'll strut it while we're here, while we're relaunching this craft. So yes, FPS is not very good in this video, that is why everything is sped up really really fast. Because this was probably just one of the first videos I recorded in KSP2, I think. But I'm just going back on it now because we had cooler videos to put out and I wanted to get them out first before this one. So yeah, here we go with the basic Starship design. I decided to get rid of the fins. I thought, we're not really sticking to the whole, you know, the realistic Starship. So we'll just keep it without the fins for now because we don't really need them we're not going to be belly flopping into the atmosphere or anything because we don't have the frames for that at the time of recording and yes I uh, exploded everything when I separated for some reason but it still worked we are getting up into orbit thankfully so yeah if you haven't seen the first video where we launched the core it is um, one of my first K KSP2 videos it is also a part of the playlist this should be part of the playlist I've got a playlist on the channel if you want to check that out with all the KSP2 stuff so you can binge it if you're new to the channel if you haven't seen anything yet but anyway and of what we are doing currently we are taking what module is this I think this first module here is the hub it, I made my own larger hub not realizing there was actually a hub piece in KSP2 um, yeah, I made my own hub with the large dot and nodes. But anyway, we made it and we launched it. And obviously the, de the decoupling stuff in space doesn't really work very well in cargo bays. So you have to sort of time warp till the, the part teleports out. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. And here I have really struggled because as you can see, the RCS ports are all on one end. The RCS thrusters. So, when I was trying to stay stable and manoeuvre at the same time, all of them were just firing rapidly to try and keep the thing stable for some reason. And not giving us enough power to move around. So, this was a lot of trial and error getting this docking worker. Docking in KSP2 seems a lot harder than KSP1. So, I was thinking, right, I'm going to have to do a Matlown lazy method of docking because this clearly isn't working so we tried that but the thing everything just started spinning around for no reason and it wasn't working the lound, lound lazy method of docking just doesn't seem to want to work in ksp2 for me at least anyway so i just pointed it normal and then pointed this one towards it and was like right I'm gonna try and just push there we go we finally get it docked that that took I'm not gonna lie that took probably about two hours to get that one piece on I was so frustrated I just started furiously deleting all the, all the debris out of the system so it's time to get the starship back down to earth and yep we got hit by a bug KSP2 with bugs that is so unusual, isn't it? Yeah, we just decided to cancel out all horizontal velocity for some reason. And, um, yeah, we went straight down to the ground. So that was always fun. 
didn't get land next to the Kerbal Space Centre for that one, which is unfortunate. Yeah, once again, just cleaning up the debris because I didn't have the new graphics card, so it was lagging quite a bit. Right, so I thought first, I thought, right, the next module we are going to send with a shuttle because it's going to look a lot cooler for the video. And this was before I made a shuttle that actually worked. I made an extremely long shuttle to fit quite a lot in, but uh, it just does not work out very well, as you will see in the video. I think that's what's making it fun for me to play, because as frustrating as it is with the bugs and stuff, it is, it's fun to do the trial and error of different things and see what's working and what's not and play with all the new parts, so yeah. That's why I'm enjoying it, I think. But anyway, I thought we'll we'll dock some we'll take some tugs to move things around. So I was building a couple of tugs here, and then I thought, what all the parts can I build on the station? So I was just looking through all the parts, finding things that looked stationy, and I thought this part really looks like a space station part, so I put that in. And stuck it inside the shuttle with four boosters because reasons. <laughs> Yeah, and watch what happens when we separate the boosters here. Watch what happens. Uh, yep, this happened quite a lot. I launched that about five times, and it did exactly the same thing. Even when I adjusted the center of mass and everything, so I just give up on that. I went right. We're putting it in the starship. Stuck it all in the starship. I took out one of the little tugs. I think I took out something one part of the yeah I think it was the little tug just purely because it didn't fit in the um, what is it called cargo bay yes that's what it is a cargo bay so yeah I'm just trying to get an encounter straight off the bat here and again I'm just messing up I just I, I can't remember what I'm doing <laughs> anymore but we do get quite a close encounter straight off the bat, which is nice. That is always good to launch and get one straight away. And we've got plenty of fuel in here, so I wasn't really bothered about the fuel. This is quite an overpowered ship. So we are just getting close enough to get everything out and RCS over there because we don't want to be using these powerful rocket engines up close and personal to the space station because I don't know if it does get affected by the thrust or not but I didn't want to chance it anyway so there we go turn around the sunlight so I can see the unit and again struggling to get this thing moving and <laughs> docked to the station but after a lot of trial and error we do get it close and I spin this round to do a long lazy method of docking again because it seems to be the only thing that works sort of it doesn't really work kind of works but as you can see here I'm like fighting the weight of the the end the other end of the module I had to just turn SES off and sort of like pull it along drag drag the other end onto the docking node which does eventually work it just took a lot of time there we go look at that and then we're at the point of the video where we find another bug in Kerbal Space Program 2. And I was trying to align everything to normal and it just didn't want to work. It didn't want, it was trying to spin out. But I didn't realize this till later. And I did the same here. I try and take off this bit and we just start spinning. I didn't realize till later, if you look at the control triangles on the nav ball, they are like maxed out in all different directions. Apparently it's in it's a bug with trim where trim just adds itself for no reason. So it was trying it, it thought I was putting in controls, but I wasn't. So it was just trimmed out wrong. I didn't realise this for quite a long time. I kept saving it and quick saving, quick loading. And then I finally found a Discord chat message that said about pressing alt and x to cancel out trim i didn't even realize trim was a thing in the game until i'd seen that message i can't remember where it was now i think it was on discord or, or, or steam so yeah we do struggle on for quite a bit here 
I can't remember where do it, where am I next cutting the video? <laughs> That's the thing with post post commentary. I can't remember where I'm up to. <laughs> I've already watched this through once to get an idea of what I was gonna see it, and I've just said nothing that I was meant to see, and um, I've just got lost of what actually I'm doing. But yeah, I think we did fix the issue here. It looks like it is fixed. Yes, it is fixed. So there we go, we are just moving it over to the other side to dock the little tug onto that side of the station. So we can have a little, a smaller docking part on that side as well to add some more extra things. So we are at the point in the video where that everyone likes, everyone seemed to be doing really good with putting in the random word generator word into their comments. People are actually making it into sentences now as well. I really love that, it's mint, so I'm just gonna keep it up. So today's random word to put in your comments if you made it this far in the video is satisfied. So there you go. Put satisfied down below if you made it this far in the video and I know you're a true fan. But anyway, back to the station. We're just moving people around into the other module. So it looks like they're busy doing some, you know, important work for Kerbal Kind. Then moving back to the starship and getting this thing out of orbit. So I wanted to come down at the space centre, so I put it a little bit further ahead, thinking the Earth, the Kerbin, would rotate and we would lose some speed. But apparently we're just like a missile from the bum end, and <laughs> still just came down way too fast. I don't know. This the atmosphere seems weird in KSP2. I don't know. But anyway, I thought we'll have a quick look at the the island over there that has the landing strip on it. And once again, looking up to the sky because all GPU means less frames. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. And there we go. We can recover that. It, can. it landed pretty safe considering. Once again, just getting rid of all the debris that is in. Kerbin's atmosphere and space center. So there we have it. We have a work in the space station with some more bits we need to add to it. I might raise the orbit at some point as well with the space shuttle. I'm going to try that, see how well that goes. But yeah, it does seem to be in quite low orbit, so I want to raise it up. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.